Hello students, uh, welcome back to module five. Uh, the key learning that we do in module five is how to use string stream uh, objects. String stream objects are very useful uh, because as you have seen, uh, when we read information from files, sometimes this information is a number, but it gets read as a string. And then we had to do all of that complicated stuff in which we had to convert a string to an integer and do all of the processing ourselves. Well, it turns out that we have a class called the string stream class in C++, which has got uh, two subclasses or, or objects, if you'd like to call them that. One of them processes input and the other processes output. But this lecture will focus on the input, I string stream, and the O string stream or the output processor is done pretty much in the complementary way, right? So, um, this is very much, if you look at this, this looks a lot like, for example, we include IO stream, we include F stream, we also include string stream. And it's, it is part of the namespace standard. So we, if we uh, inc include it here in this way, then we don't, need to, uh, we don't need to use the scope resolution operator in our program, right? So what does this string stream do? I string stream is an object that can be declared in this way. So I'm going to say, let me declare, just like C out, just like input file, I can also declare an object of type in string stream, and I'm going to call it I string stream. So in stream, let's call it that. The question is, how should I, what is going to, what is this in stream going to process? It turns out this is in stream is going to process a line or a string because it's an I string stream operator. So I'm going to say, can you process this line for me? Now, but we haven't defined what line is. So let's go and say line is a string. And now I know my program is not going to be super happy because I've got to include, include string and maybe we do using standard string. And now I'm going to declare string line. And let me, just for the sake of argument, initialize it with um, word, right? Uh, or let's say hello, one, two, three. And then I'm going to say world. And I'm going to count the number of seconds as one, two, three, four point five, six, right? So here is how I have declared my string. As you can see, this is a word, this is an integer whole number, this is another word, and this is a decimal. And I would like to have an easy way to just pull out what is called tokens. This is token number one, token number two, token number three, token number four. And they are of different types. This token is a string type, this token is an int type, this token is a string type, and this token is a double type. So let's create some variables that can actually store these tokens. So I'm going to say int number, and I'm going to say double is a decimal number and I'm going to say string word one and word two because I've got two words there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract these tokens from the line and put them into these variables and I string stream is going to help me do that how does it do that it does that by allowing me to insert this line into this in stream object and once you insert it you can extract it exactly as you extract using CR. so here what i'm doing is i'm extracting from here exactly like we do from the c in object right i'm going to do word one and then as you know the number comes after that so i'm going to do in stream um the number and then I'm going to do in stream word two and in stream uh, the decimal, right? And now what I can do is I can actually print, right? I can actually print uh, word one and word, right? This is to confirm that it has done it correctly. 
so I can print word one and I'm going to copy paste this stuff here and I've got um, number here and I print the number then I print word two and and then I print the decimal and now we will see that it has correctly in line So let's run this program and verify that iStringStream. So you see iStringStream has correctly identified, pulled the information right from the string. So this tells us that there are several ways in which we can get input. We can get input from a file. For that, we need a file variable. We can get input from the console. Uh, for that, we need cin, console input. And we can also extract input from a string. And for that, we need to use the iString stream operator, right?